I think I finally found the perfect backpack for a passionate bird and wildlife photographer. And it's the one that I'm wearing right now. In today's video, I will show you why. This is the uh, F-Stop Shin 80 liter backpack for photographers. And before we get started, I just want to get this out of the way. I have not been paid by F-Stop for doing this video. I bought this backpack with my own money and I'm really loving it. And I know how much I struggled to find the right backpack. So I'm doing this video to let you guys know what I'm thinking, the pros and the cons, and then you can decide for yourself if this backpack might be something for you as well. If we start off with the exteriors of this backpack, there are so many small features that I really like. And a few that I'm not that fond of, but they are very minor and I'll get to those uh, later on. Um, let's start off by strapping this one off so we have a little bit more space. We have straps on both sides for the uh, tripods or for any other gear you might want to have here. Tents, backpacks, uh, sleeping mats, whatever. F-Stop also uses the gatekeeper system, which are these extra straps. So there are hoops all over this backpack and you can click these extra straps on and we'll get a closer look in just a second. I'll just get this small stool off out of the way so we can look at the backpack itself. Now, with many other backpacks, the entrance for the photo gear is on the back, which I like. My stuff is secure. Nobody else can open it when I'm wearing the backpack. And um, it always gives us a nice clean surface to work on. When I put my backpack down this way, it's gonna be the outside that gets dirty and wet. And then I don't put the wet side on me afterwards. So the place where I'm opening this backpack to get to my gear is also the same uh, surface that's gonna be touching my back when I wear it. And I like that. We have these very, very nice strong straps and they are adjustable in many, many different places. And this is very comfortable backpack. I've never had a backpack that wears this light um, when it's actually extremely heavy. I've put a lot of stuff in this one, as you will see very soon. And this one weighs about 30 kilos right now. And it, it seems at least 10 kilos uh, lighter when I'm wearing it. And that's probably because of these comfortable straps. If we look at the front of this backpack here, we have one big pocket with a watertight zipper and all the, the material that's used for this backpack seems uh, very, very uh, durable and extremely uh, weatherproof. I bought the Elite Bundle, so I also got an extra rain cover to cover the whole thing. But I think for, for most uses, it'll actually do quite well without, without any rain cover. But this compartment out here can be opened all the way down here. And even now where I have a very heavy setup, I have all my, a lot of my gear in here, um, I still have this very big compartment that I can use for clothing, um, an extra shirt or wet stuff. It has a drain, bottom, uh, drain hole in the bottom right here. So it actually makes it a good place to put wet stuff that you don't want to have in contact with your photo gear. It also has these mesh pockets right here. And it's nice that it opens all the way down because it's a lot easier to access your stuff and also pack it tightly. Underneath, there's another zipper with a small compartment as well. We have elastic bands put on the front here and we have a strap here. So you can actually put another tripod or maybe a a portable photo blind or a tent on this front as well. So you can actually strap something on the top, on the bottom, on both sides and on the front right here. I think I'm going to be using it in a way where I put gatekeeper straps in these loops right here so I can put my sleeping mat that I often use when I photograph waterfowl. I can put that in the bottom. I can actually strap my photo blind up here if I want because it's very compact. And then I can have tripods on both sides Right now I have one tripod for the vlogging camera and I have my bigger tripod here and I have room for everything. Now on both sides of this backpack we have extra compartments and they actually expand quite well. So also in these sides we could put extra stuff, clothing, extra pair of shoes, 
uh, dry socks, um, or maybe just some, some food and some supplies. The same on the other side. We also have a similar compartment and some mesh pockets in here as well. Oh, I haven't even been in this compartment yet. And uh, as you can see here, it has some, some Velcro. Uh, and that's for expanding the pocket even further. So this is very versatile, and and that's what I really like about these backs, uh, backpacks. Um, not only are they versatile in the way that you can store a lot of stuff on the outside and on the inside, but they also use a very very uh, clever system for the inside that I'll get to in just a second. For the top compartment, we have. Again, a watertight zipper, and right now I use the, um, the Peak Design Tech pouch for all my chargers, my cables, and um, extra batteries, all the electronic stuff. And I can put that in this compartment here and know that I have a watertight zipper and it's easy to access. I also have an extra rain cover, and we have these mesh pockets if you want to have extra batteries here or memory cards. Then we have the top access to the main compartment. And now we get to the, to the very clever part of these F-Stuff bags. Um, they use this ICU system. And ICU stands for Internal Camera Unit. And you, that means you actually buy a backpack that's just a backpack. It's one big compartment on the, in the main compartment. And then you buy these boxes, depending on how much photo gear you have and how much extra other gear you want to carry. And with this Elite bundle, I got three different, four different camera units. So I can pack it heavy with all my gear and have less space for clothing and other supplies. Or I can pack a smaller ICU and pack more of my backpack with clothing if I need. The ICU that I chose for my setup is the Master Cine ICU. And that is the biggest ICU that is offered by F-Stop. And it's actually made for, for cinematography and, and cinema cameras that are mounted with rigs and therefore they're very big. But that's actually a very good thing for us wildlife and bird photographers because it's the same kind of space we need for our big telephoto lenses. Um, when I open up this top compartment, I'm gonna have a mesh pocket right here, but you can also see that right here, the Cine ICU internal camera unit is actually taking up this whole space. So all of this can be used for camera equipment. And I can open the ICU from the top right here. And right now I have my gimbal for vlogging. I have a few cleaning supplies, a sensor cleaner and stuff like that. But if you can see right here, it has a wall in this compartment. And this wall is actually detachable. So in case you have an even bigger lens that I use, then this top compartment can be a part of the bigger compartment. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Now, as you can see here, this big compartment has one big zipper that opens up. And here we have all the fun stuff. And as you can see, I'm actually having my 1DX Mark III with a 500 millimeter attached and also the 1.4 extender attached. And this whole thing fits right into this backpack. And that is actually quite amazing if you ask me. I have never had a backpack where I could put this setup right down here, like this, ready to shoot. Aside from that, I'm carrying an extra 1DX Mark II. I'm carrying a 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8. I'm carrying a 100 to 400. I have my 16 to 35, 2.8. And right here, I have the body of the vlogging camera that's filming right now. And the 14 millimeter lens that's filming right now. In this corner compartment, I have the Rode Video Micro with the dead cat. And I also carry my Wireless Pro that is picking up the audio right now. So 
To have all of this in one backpack, my 500 with a pro camera body and an extender without having to take everything apart and also be able to carry an extra body and three extra lenses where two of them are telezooms. I even have my vlogging camera here as well and a lens for that. I have tried so many different backpacks and I've never had a backpack that was able to fit all of this in one place. Well, one of the things that actually often fail um, when looking at a backpack for wildlife photography is actually this measurement right here because our lenses are quite big in diameter and we also have the lens hood that is even bigger and we have a lens foot that makes the whole thing a lot more tall. And because this backpack is actually made for cinematography and for those big camera rigs, this one is a perfect match for a wildlife photographer. As mentioned earlier, this is the largest ICU. And this ICU, if we remove that inner wall that was between that top compartment and this main compartment, you could actually fit a 600 or maybe even an 800 millimeter in this place. Um, I like this setup, it caters for my needs. But if I were to go on a weekend trip and I wanted to pack a little bit lighter, maybe only take 100, 400 and a camera uh, body, but I wanted to pack more clothing and supplies, I could use a smaller ICU and pack all this with clothing. There's actually only one, one minor thing that I can come up with that I would have loved to have on this backpack that is not there. And that is a simple mesh pocket on one of the sides or both sides of the backpack. There is an internal water system. There is um, space for a water bladder on this inside here and it comes up of the corner. So you could put an inter internal water bladder. But nine out of 10 times, I just like to have a water bottle or canteen on the side. And it's easy to access when it's right here. So I would have liked a, a small mesh pocket right there, but it's a very, very small thing. And anything else in this backpack is absolutely amazing. So I hope you got something out of watching this video and maybe it answered some of the questions that you have had on searching for a backpack. I know that it was, uh, it was uh, like sent from heaven for me to find this backpack because I really had tr uh, trouble finding the right one. And I know it's a big backpack and you really have to be careful not to overfill it because there's a lot of space in it and it's going to be extremely heavy. But uh, for, for the bigger trips, I really like using something like this. I hope you liked the video and if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. Otherwise, you'll probably see me wearing this backpack in... Uh, quite a lot of videos in the future. Take care.